Blastocystis is a type of parasite which lives in the gastrointestinal tracts of animals, reptiles, insects, fish and humans. It's one of the most common parasites in the world and an increasing amount of studies are confirming why it's now believed to be the root cause of a wide range of human diseases. Now there are subtypes and you may hear the term Blastocystis hominis which was a name for the type which was originally found in humans but the truth is many other subtypes can infect the human body which were originally found in other animal hosts. Common symptoms include gas, bloating, flatulence, abdominal pain, diarrhea, fatigue, hives and multiple food sensitivities. And the last one's interesting. While a normal food sensitivity can be resolved by not eating the food, when you have blastocystis, you keep developing sensitivities to different foods. Does this sound like you? You used to be able to eat anything, now many of those same foods keep causing reactions and the list keeps growing, more and more foods you become reactive to. Another interesting connection is seen in patients with Hashimoto's disease, with a significant portion of them testing positive for blastocystis. An Egyptian study found that 61% of patients with hives had blastocystis, compared to just 8% of the control group without hives. Other studies have found that up to 73% of patients with IBS had it, and a significant portion of Hashimoto's disease, as I mentioned before, also tested positive for blastocystis. To be honest, parasite detection methods are highly unreliable, with many false negatives seen, so these numbers may even be higher. The good news is that the eradication of the blastocystis parasite very often leads to complete remission from IBS, hives, Hashimoto's, fatigue, food sensitivities. And this makes sense. It's not the only cause of these conditions, but in most cases it is. So when you get rid of the cause, the problems go away. If you are suffering from any of these conditions, there's a good chance that the blastocyst parasite is a root cause and should be investigated. So many people have this parasite with tests showing over 50% of the population in underdeveloped countries and up to 20% in developed countries, it may be a good idea for everybody to be tested. If you're in the early stages, you don't want to let the parasites grow into large colonies and cause serious disease. There are multiple testing options available, each with varying degrees of accuracy and a number of natural health treatments to expel the parasites. For more information on testing and treatment options, visit my website at healthglade.com. Hi, this is Adam from Healthglade. If you enjoyed this video and want more health related content that you won't hear anywhere else, please follow our social media channels. But our content is highly controversial and Big Brother often takes down our pages. So also join our mailing list at healthglade.com and when it happens we'll email you links to the new ones. Our videos are not copyrighted so you can help by downloading them and re-uploading to your channels. Thanks for watching and if you know anyone who will benefit from this content, please drop a like and share it with them.